years ago, I made this hyper-realistic cake. What fruit would you say this is? Did you guess apple? Because it's not meant to be an apple. It's supposed to be a peach. I think that the biggest issue is that there isn't any fuzz. I must redeem myself. It's been four years. It's time to make a new, better hyper-realistic peach cake. With edible fuzz. How am I gonna make edible fuzz? We're about to find out. My name is Natalie Side Surf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today, I'm gonna make a cake of a peach. The first time I made a peach cake four years ago, I really liked the way it turned out. And I still like it. It's just that it bothers me that people think it's an apple. And that's not on them, that's on me. I've gotta find a way to make this cake look obviously like a peach, rather than just kind of peach-like. The first time I made it, it took me about three days. Three days is a long time for a cake the size of a peach. But back then I had four years less experience. So it makes sense that I work much faster now. Today, this cake should take me about one full day. Day, a full eight hour day, which is still a long time, but we're talking hyper realism here. <laughs> you gotta put the time in or it just doesn't look real. Remaking an old cake is always a little intimidating. What if today's peach cake looks worse than my first try? That would be embarrassing. Okay, I just need to focus on what I can do to make this new version better. One thing that I know I wanna do better is get the peach fuzz right. There's gotta be a way to make this cake look fuzzy. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm gonna figure it out today, hopefully. This isn't the first time I've remade an old cake. Back in 2020, I made an alphabet SpaghettiOs cake, but there was something about it that people hated. That Alphabet SpaghettiOs cake video was meant to be a tutorial. I wanted to make it simple enough that anybody could make it. So instead of making an edible bowl, which is more of an advanced technique, I used a real bowl. A lot of people were disappointed I didn't make the bowl edible. And I thought to myself, that's fair. I wish the bowl was edible too. <laughs> so two years later, I remade that Alphabet SpaghettiOs cake with an edible bowl and an edible spoon. I also updated it to look more like a tomato sauce rather than a broth. I'll put a link to that video in the pinned comment so you can check it out. I'm really glad I remade that cake because I love the newer version. I was able to make it even better than the first, which is why I'm really excited I'm remaking this peach cake. I really hope you guys end up liking this one better than my first try. I'm gonna make some major changes to this updated peach cake. The peach cake is covered in modeling chocolate and it's almost completely sculpted. The next step is the most difficult part of this entire cake. It's time to paint. which is the most difficult and the most fun part of this cake. You may not know this, but before I sculpted cakes, I actually studied painting. And knowing how to paint is really gonna help me out with this one. It's all about layering color. I'm starting out with yellow, then I'll add orange and red, and the colors will get darker as I go. This is where the peach really turns into a peach. It's extremely challenging, and that's what I like about it. While I paint, I really gotta figure out this peach fuzz situation. I still don't know how I'm gonna make it, and it's, uh, it's next on my list. The first time I made this peach cake four years ago, I used white food color to try to create a peach fuzz effect, but it clearly didn't work because people kept telling me it looks like an apple, it needs fuzz. <laughs> so today is my opportunity to try to do something else, a different technique, one that actually works this time. <laughs> so my instinct is telling me I should chop something up super fine, so fine that the texture is fuzzy. I keep thinking coconut, but I just don't think coconut's the answer here. You know what? I have a lot of wafer paper around here. Maybe I could chop up wafer paper so fine that I can dust it on my peach cake and it'll look like fuzz. I feel like this is a long shot, but it's definitely worth a try. Now, how am I gonna chop up sheets of wafer paper super fine? I've got an idea. I'm busting out the food processor. If this thing doesn't work, nothing will. I got some wafer paper, I just gotta rip it up. That way I can feed it through the hole in the top. I don't know if this is gonna work, but something's gonna happen to this wafer paper. Let's see how this goes. I started out with just a few pieces thinking that they would shred immediately, but they just danced around the bowl instead. <laughs> I ended up putting three sheets in there and that worked much better. Now it's definitely not all a perfect powder, so I'm pouring it into a mesh strainer to sift out any large pieces. 
You want to take the blade out before you pour it. I got a little excited there. <laughs> this looks pretty good. It's looking fine. But was it chopped fine enough? Let's find out. I don't want to do anything to the actual peach cake until I know it works. So I made myself a little sample peach skin. I'm so excited to see how this looks. All right, let's brush it on. The pieces are looking a little big. Gotta mess with it a little bit. And uh, no, 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 that's not gonna work. That does not look fuzzy. Not at all. I gotta come up with something else. Do you wear clothes or know someone who does? Well, get yourself some more by heading over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com. That's where you can get some Side Surf Cake Studio clothes. We also have coffee mugs, stickers, beach towels, all kinds of stuff. I'll put a link below so you don't get lost on your way to the store. And now back to the cake. That wafer cool. paper reminded me of something that I use all the time to make my cakes, powdered sugar. So I made another peach skin sample and I'm hoping powdered sugar looks more like this light white fuzz and less flaky like that wafer paper. I know from experience when you brush powdered sugar on a smooth surface, it doesn't stick very well. So I added a very subtle texture with a hard bristled brush. And now I'm brushing on the powdered sugar and... I love it! Look at that, it looks like a fuzzy peach. Adding the texture first gave the powdered sugar something to hold on to. So I'm diving in, I'm covering this peach cake in powdered sugar. I really like the way this is turning out. But you know what? I'm gonna take this cake even further. I'm gonna make sure nobody confuses this peach with an apple. Yep, I just cut the cake in half. Look, 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 I've got this under control. Everything is fine. I know that cut was a little unexpected. I also can't believe I just did that. I put a lot of effort into making this peach cake perfect and then I just cut it in half, but I think it's gonna be worth it. This layer of white chocolate is gonna give me a hard surface to work on. Well, a harder surface than that squishy cake underneath at least. So now I'm trying my best to smooth yellow modeling chocolate across this entire surface. Have you figured out what my plan is yet? I'm still making a hyper-realistic peach cake, but now it's cut in half, exposing the yellow inside. I'm really excited about this very, very last minute decision. Decision. Call me paranoid, but I really want to make sure that people know this is a peach and not an apple. And peaches have a very unique pit. Now that I'm replicating the peach cut in half, I think that will really help people understand that this cake is a peach. I suppose this could be confused with a nectarine. Nope, 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 I'm not gonna get in my head. People will not think this is a nectarine. Nectarines don't have fuzz. I spent all that time on the peach fuzz and I think it looks good. All I can do at this point is just hope that people think it looks fuzzy. You guys will let me know, right? Let me know if you think this finished cake looks like a peach or a nectarine. Now I'm gonna place my very unique chocolate peach pit on my peach half. I'm glad I decided to include the pit because the texture is really, really neat. It looks really cool next to that smooth yellow. The juxtaposition of the two textures really complement each other. I know that some of you are probably thinking, well, what did the peach look like whole? Well, don't worry because I actually got a few shots of the peach cake before I cut it. So before I show you the finished peach cake cut in half, let's have a look at what the peach cake looked like whole. And there you have it, a peach cake. The fuzz on the real peaches looks just like the fuzz on my cake peach. I really feel good about this fuzz. Now let's see the peach cake cut in half. What do you think? I don't think this cake's gonna be confused with an apple this time. <laughs> do you think it looks more like a peach than a nectarine? Let's cut the cake. I kinda like when this cake was whole and when it was cut in half. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel right now. I post a brand new cake every week and I'll see you next week for another cake.